Hi friends, today I am going to show you a PowerShell command called get event. So for that I am just going to open the PowerShell and let's go to the help menu of the get event PowerShell command. Sorry, I'll just show you first the new event PowerShell command. Then only we can get the we can execute the get event PowerShell command. So I am just going to show you a new event PowerShell command. So it was used for creating a new event in your PowerShell window that is a it is if you see here you can just use the customers to don't pay the users about the state changes of the program. So it was used for intimating any information you want to show to your users. So let's go to the online help so that we can execute some of the examples. So these are the descriptions on the syntax which is given here and there is no allies also here. So these are the parameters which is given here, message, data, events, arguments, these are the parameters. So let's go directly to the example. And so just execute this. So I'm just going to execute that command which I have copied from the Microsoft website. I'm just going to name it as event win event just going to hit enter here so it shows us a new event has been created in the system with the name win event here that is with the message data win event here and the center is the windows timer here with the source and intermediate timer. So this is how you will create a new event here. So let's execute some other. So this is the script which is given here. So if you want to execute the script, you can just copy and execute it. But you need to create a PS1 file for that. So you need to enable the script execution policy first. You need to keep it in the remote center. I will just explain this script execution in my next future coming videos. So let's try this first. It will not execute so let's try a little bit. You see it is not executing so just leave it no more issues in that. So this is how you just create a new event. So let's try to create some other events here new event so it is created without any issues so this is how you just create a new event in your windows powershell um, time for watching the video in my next video i will just show you how to get this event with a command called a get event thank you for watching the video again